Does this meal look just a little bit familiar? If you guys watched the latest video from Denmark Oven, almost the exact same meal as uh, prior to the final match. And this is my breakfast today. In this very spontaneous vlog, I woke up and I was like, maybe I should make a vlog today. I have two training sessions. It's going to be a tough one. Badminton first, cardio later. So, important that I really fill up with a, a bunch of food and energy today. Let's see how the day goes. Stay tuned, guys. Those who know me knows that the coffee is a, a big passion of mine, absolutely essential. I drink a lot of coffee morning, morning time and uh, again after lunch prior to my second practice session. When I'm here in Copenhagen, I usually use my pool over setup, my coffee grinder there, my, I don't even know what it's called. But this one is very good, you can heat it up to a specific um, degree. So I warm up the water to 92 degrees before I pour it. And uh, that's what I've been taught that I should do. I don't know if I do it correctly, but it works kind of well. So every time, guys, I... Not every time, but oftentimes before my matches when I'm out for tournaments, I bring, you know, like a cup with me with a uh, either a pour over coffee or I make an AeroPress and bring it in this cup as well. And I think about making my own set, something kind of like some something I could uh, use for merchandise as well, because I always bring this. This coffee cup uh, and uh, kind of like a Tupperware box with my oats. The breakfast you just saw, uh, I oftentimes bring that to to the arena, and I eat and drink that prior to my match. So I want to make something that uh, that I could use for merchandise and, and sell it. I'm working on I'm working on some stuff with a website and a web shop and stuff. So. Uh, Stay tuned for that. Maybe you can buy an Anna Santos and coffee, coffee cup and a, and a Tupperware box very soon. <laughs> Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet, damn ain't that great I don't wanna go to work, cause my boss is a jerk, and I'm not even that paid I need a change in my life, cause I don't feel alive, and there's nothing that makes me happy Oh, Hold my beer for a minute, I'm about to quit my job, cash in for a ticket I'm going on a trip, and I don't plan to visit, I'm gonna stay there till I feel like I'm winning all Back from training, time to have some lunch I had Back in the couch. This is where I do all the recording, I feel like. Anyways, I had a good time this morning, so I just prepared the lunch because I knew that I was going to be very hungry by the time I got home from training. So I just saved a 
few minutes by chopping up the vegetables and the onion and yeah weighing out the the meat and stuff we have here the ingredients chopped up rice onion garlic and chili beef minced beef broccoli and bell pepper underneath there it is into what is it a pan not a pan what is it called i don't remember anyways all of it in there add some soy sauce oyster sauce fish sauce let's go and it's lunch time I'll head out to Bonby, where we have our training uh, later again today uh, for, for the cardio and also some physio treatment. So that was why I wanted to get home quickly so I could spend a few hours here. But to the lunch, rice, beef, a few vegetables, broccoli, uh, bell pepper, onion, garlic, chili, and Beautiful avocado on the side. Maybe some uh, some extra chili stuff, shirasha, hot chili sauce if I want some more spice. Big glass of water, and I'm back on creatine as well. Let's get to it. Guys, second session today, over and out, intervals on the bike, wow, tired, didn't feel super good going into this session, felt like I had a lot of fatigue in my legs from the last few days, but that being said, I'm super happy with the performance. Yeah. Once I once I got going, it was very good. A lot of talk about physique these days. You hear the commentators like they praise they praise my physique and my development in my physique uh, a lot. Um, uh, it's definitely true. I have improved a lot the last few years, but it's not just like I've been suddenly work working much harder the last few years that I've been doing my whole career. Always been feel like I've been working very very hard, um, and now it shows. I'm very happy with that, obviously, but. Basically guys, just comes down to very, very hard work. Doing stuff like this, cardio on and off the court. Obviously badminton in itself is also some, some kind of cardio. So you need to dose it, so, right? You can't do cardio every single day. Like here on the bike, if, uh, if the badminton sessions is super, super hard as well. Sometimes you gotta do it, but uh, it's all about being able to do it in, in the right dose when it comes to like your overall training load the badminton part the physical part uh, and the physical part i mean both the cardio aspect and also the, the strength and uh yeah what do you say injury proven prevention uh, work and stuff like that obviously difficult to record anything as i use the 
track the heart rate during the intervals and I was also playing music so you just gotta trust me that I actually got it done but I did look at this guys this is Denmark 5 p.m. and it's dark very dark the whole day has been gray cloudy just super boring <clears throat> so what else to do other than just grind and work hard inside so this was a great day of training very happy with the two uh, with the two sessions some stuff to talk about is that um, yesterday the new coaching team for Badminton Denmark got announced and uh, my co-host on the Badminton Experience Hans Christian Wissing who uh, has been keeping not a little I would say quite a big secret for me and everyone else yesterday it got announced that he is the new uh, national coach um, for Denmark he will be uh, coaching the men's singles as far as I'm concerned it's starting out as like a part-time part-time job because I still have some some other stuff to finish but uh, from from next summer or something it should be a full-time job and he will be in charge of the men's singles here in Denmark so obviously it's uh, it's very sad that Kenneth is leaving he has been the national coach forever ever since I started uh, on the national training center so Kenneth will leave and that's going to be quite emotional I believe I will actually have my last session here in Denmark with Kenneth just in a few days um, but also congrats to Hans Christian it's very very uh, I mean, it's a big task. He has some huge footsteps to, to follow, that's for sure. But I'm sure he will do his absolute best. But what might be quite a sad um, note is that I don't know what will happen with the Bamton experience because uh, in the position Hans Christian is going to be in, I'm not really sure whether he can talk freely about other players and you know the Danish players and just give his honest opinion and stuff. Thinking I might need to be, yeah, handling it a little different from from here on. But we'll let you know, guys, uh, very very soon what's going to happen with the Bamton experience. It might not look good. We'll see. Now, guys, favorite part of the day. I've earned it. It's dinner time. guys that's the end of this uh, short check-in vlog video uh, that I had for you guys ended the day on a good note on a very nice Japanese restaurant with my good friend Matthias so that was uh, that was very nice just a little status on um, on my schedule I have withdrawn from the from the Japan Masters in Kumamoto which is going to be played next week I'm already qualified for the World Tour Finals uh, in December and um, since the Denmark Open, first of all I had a little vacation so I wanted some extra time to, to practice and get back into the rhythm and that's it. So the next for me will be China Masters, I'm really looking forward to that and, and get out and compete again. I'll leave Denmark in a few days uh, and I'll go to Dubai practice there for a little while and then I'll go from Dubai to China and, and play the China Masters. So looking forward to get back in action. Thank you guys for watching and uh, supporting as always. I've been extremely happy since the Denmark Open. Everything has been great. Vacation was good. Practice is good now and I'm very excited for the future and, and get back in action. One final note, I shortly mentioned some merchandise. Earlier in this video, you know, I had some ideas for the top aware and the cup and stuff and I'm also going to make some apparel I'm working on a web shop where we'll sell some some different items and stuff but we'll get to that later but uh, stay tuned for that as well see you guys